So we're back. From the last video, demand we find that demand is the entire relationship between price and the quantity, quantity demanded of a good. Now, the demand curve simply shows this. The demand curve shows demand. So it shows demand. But the thing is, the demand curve shows demand when all other influences remain the same. So when, but when all influences are the same, same. What does that mean? That means that when a person plans to buy something, plans to buy, they actually buy it. So when you plan to buy a car, you actually buy the car. And that's what we mean by when influences are all the same. Now, I have a graph here that shows the demand curve. And as it says, a rise in price, other, other things remains, remaining the same, brings a decrease in the quantity demanded and the movement along the demand curve. So that's kind of logical because when the price rises, so say the price rises from uh, from 150 to 250 so right here 150 to 250 it's natural that people who used to buy this item at 150 couldn't buy it anymore so then the demand goes down it goes from 10 to 5 10 to 5 and that's the that's what happens when price changes the quantity demanded of a good will increase or decrease if the price rises, well, the quantity will decrease, or the yeah, the quantity will decrease. If the price, uh, if the price get lowered, then the quantity would increase. Another thing I want to talk about is willingness to pay. Willingness and ability to pay. <coughs> to pay. This can be seen in the demand curve, like I just said, the quantity goes down, the quantity goes down when the prices rise. Someone, there's always someone that's willing to buy at that price. Now another thing I'm going to talk about briefly is uh, marginal benefit. sounds abstract but marginal benefit is a simple simple thing to understand it's how much benefit we get with one more unit so marginal benefit is how much benefit we get with one more unit with one more unit so Say you like you like burgers. Well, the marginal benefit is how much benefit we will get when we buy one more burger from uh, from McDonald's. <coughs> the next thing I'll talk about is a change in demand. A change in demand. Now the change in demand is uh, again very simple like economics is. So the change in demand simply states that when something is when something other than price other than price affects <laughs> the buying plans for that good. for that good. So imagine we have imagine that we live in a country that makes crops or grows crops. So for example, we we live in a country that grows potatoes. Country grows potatoes. Potatoes. 
potatoes. So when when this country is uh, affected by drought, so there's a drought. Well, the potatoes won't grow, so we have no potatoes. No potatoes. And the people can't eat. People can't eat. So the demand for potato goes up. Demand goes up. And this is something that affects the buying plans for that good, other than price. Because a drought does not uh, does not is not does not include money or you know, does not imply money. So the drought is something other than it's it's not price, so it affects the buying plans for that good because because of the drought we couldn't grow any potatoes. So then people can't eat, so we demand more potatoes. The buying plan changes. And I'll talk more about the change in demand in the next video. Thanks for watching.